Hello out there, everyone. <clears throat> what is up? Yeah, you see that stream title there? They announced a new Sunday Splatfest, or at least that's how it's looking so far. Um, looks like we're going to have a Splatfest on Sunday, February 3rd. <laughs> this time inexplicably, because at least last time we had a Sunday Splatfest in Japan, it's because there was a holiday Monday in Japan. That is not the case this time, and I don't know... And I just, I just can't think of why they'd want a bunch of kids to splat on what will basically, what would basically be a school night. But I digress. David, welcome to the stream and Silver. Thank you for that host. Uh, by the way, um, the Splatfest is apparently sponsored by Coro Coro Magazine. Uh, the last time we had Splatfest sponsored by them was about a year ago. Uh, Champion versus Challenger, which also took place the first weekend of February last year. Challenger won. Go Team Goggles. <laughs> anyway, um, but but this is going to be a uh, reused Splatfest theme. Oh, Shulk, thank you. Oh, Shulk, thank you for joining us. Welcome to the stream. And Ronko Ashino, thanks for the host. Even if I know it probably is only going to be for half an hour, I still appreciate it. <laughs> David, you're going to join me on the upcoming Splatfest? Cool. The theme is, it's going to be a reused theme, apparently. Uh, um, and the theme is, uh, wh which role in, in a, a classic comedy duo do you prefer? Do you prefer uh, the comic or the stooge? <laughs> A.K.A. Um, A.K.A. The, uh, the bokeh or the sukomi? <laughs> The bokeh is the comic, the sukome is the stooge. You know, think of classic comedy duos like Abbott and Costello or like Abbott and Costello or Laurel and Hardy, you know. One guy's basically like the funny guy and the other and the other one's basically the one that gets annoyed at the funny guy. <laughs> uh but, but yeah, uh, and also um, another, another classic comedy duo, uh, Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis, you know. But you, but you get basically the one who's, who provides most of the actual comedy, and then you get the one who's, who's playing off of them as, as the one who's constantly annoyed by it, but which makes for even more comedy. So, so, that's, so that's what the subject of the next, of the, uh, next Blackfest is, and it looks like it's going to be a Sunday Splatfest. But what that means is every other day of Squidarine Miss will be Splatoon 2. That's what that means. Every other day of, of Squidarine Miss will be Splatoon 2. And um, so what we're tentatively looking at, assuming the Splatfest is actually starting at its normal time, um, we're looking at a we're looking at a Saturday, February two schedule of a pre Splatfest stream at um, of a pre Splatfest stream at eleven p.m. Eastern. I'm sorry, at midnight Eastern, and the Splatfest itself starting at oh, oh no, I was right before uh, the pre Splatfest stream at eleven p.m. Eastern and Splatfest itself at one a.m. Eastern. That's what that's what we're looking at. And that's assuming there isn't going to be any other splat fests that weekend. <laughs> um, so we'll see. We'll see. Now, now that that's done, let's splatter up. I'm DJ Particle. This is Particle Play Live. What? What of our splat tourney? Um. Uh oh, Zypop's room is full! Oh no! Damn it. Uh, what about the splat tourney? Um, we'll see. It's just. We'll, we'll see, Ronko. It's just become tentative. Hello, 
as you know, Splatfest and Splatfest prep tend to take uh, priority on this on this Twitch channel. Twenty three thirty five for 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 uh, for rank power. Cool. Where am I? Oh, oh, oh all right. I'm at Piranha Pit. All right. It took me a moment to get my bearings of where we are. I didn't pay attention. I was talking too much. I talk so much. I worry me to death. I just talk. I talk too much. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. Ah. How about no to that, huh? Ah, shit! That was my fault. I didn't watch my back. <laughs> but the only thing is... Is home base needs a lot of wet, inky love! Okay. Enough fooling around. It's time to get it's, it's time to get our campground done. D U N done. All right, good. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you fucking don't. Ah, okay, I guess you do. You gotta be kidding me. We have them in danger and we're suddenly losing. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Ah, shit. Did we just lose that? Yes, we just lost that. One, two, three, four! What? Uh. Um. Okay. Um. Uh. Oh, what happened, Shulk? I saw a girl lost in my high school today. I took her to the office. Bad news got late to class and they thought that girl was your what? Huh? Huh. <sighs> no, you found some random little girl lost in your high school. You took her to the office and and they start giving you the third degree? <laughs> Guy, can't win for losing sometimes, huh?
All right, Sarah and Dave are now in the lobby. I mean, Sarah and Dave, uh, Silver and Dave are now in the lobby. Huh. Oh, oh no, come on. Two ouchies already. And of course, we can't keep ourselves from getting splat. For some reason. And they're in our gazebo. Because of course they are. God! What is up with my team? Has a three quarter wipe! I mean, come on! Yeah! We're being spawn camped. We're being camped. Oh, someone got donuts. Not like we're gonna win. Yeah, we are not winning this one. Huh. <sighs> I tried to come back a little, but it wasn't enough. At least we got ourselves out of danger. Okay, that's now four of eight. Well, yeah, they just kind of placed me here in the lobby from hell. I've got David and Donuts. David and Donuts. That sounds like a that sounds like a that sounds like a breakfast theater show or something. Dave watch David and Donuts tonight on For all your entertainment news, watch David and Donuts tonight on Channel 5. <laughs> Can you please let us have our, you know, our, like our general spawn area, please? God! Ethan is just deadly with that pooty gun. 
doesn't even have to aim much. You just, boom, and it goes. There. It's a trade, but worth it. That felt good. Aha! Damn it! God, we can't even we can't even keep our home base. So Jeez. Ethan just doesn't give up. Sorry, Cookie. It's not going to allow you to do that. Shit! Fucking Ethan just picking us all off. all off one by one. I don't think he was even really inking. I think he was just splatting. Look at that. No, he was inking too. But 16 splats? That's insane. All Ethan was doing was just going around the map and splatting us. Greenbow, welcome to the stream. How you doing? And we're still doomed. You know why? Because Ethan's still on the other team. Well, except this time he's not using a pooty gun. No, in no instead he's using an end zap. Looks like you got both our duelies. No, they're all over our home base. God, that, is that Ethan? Is that friggin' Ethan again? Shit! Ah. 
All right. And they're getting back into our home base again. Warning, they're getting back into our home base again. I thought we were going to have a chance, but nope. It's another fucking blowout, thanks to Ethan. <laughs> Next time on David and Donuts. kill quite even didn't splat quite as many of us this time but I need an Ethan on my team oh god oh Greenbow's here we got five of eight now but Ethan left <laughs> I guess Ethan wanted more of a challenge. All right. I've got Shulk and Dave. They got Silver and Greenbow. I was hoping a trade with silver. We need better campground coverage right now. Or do we? Ah, uh, mainly just on the ramp. Ah, shit! Double teamed. No, uh, actually I was triple teamed. And now suddenly we're in danger. I hate when this happens.
<sighs> God damn! Hey, Icy, welcome to the stream. How's Splat going? Not well. Then again, it rarely ever goes well with me, so... You too, Icy? Yeah. Well, except well, except if it's unless it's Splatfest, I tend to have a shitty Splat day every day. So. <laughs> well, it looks like this will be the last match on this rotation. So. saw that trade. Oh, God. Oh, they got into our campground. Yeah, they got into our campground. Let me fix this. It's the only problem with trying to launch, um... It's the only problem with trying to launch off that side. Ah! They surrounded me! Yes. True. Huh. All right. That's it for this rotation, folks. Well, you were in danger, but you were coming. Per but you got a three-quarter wipe on us, and you were starting to come back. All right. All right, what do we have this time? Snapper Canal? 
The Inkblot Art Academy. Can we join anyone? No, we can't join anyone yet. Damn it. New lobby, folks. New lobby. Why, why nervous, Starkle? What you nervous about? Oh, quoting Mario Kart. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, who got into our home base already? How about, like, no? How about let's not... And also not say we did. Almost got almost. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, that's how I did get blown up by the freaking ink mine. <coughs> that E leader is damn good. Watch out. I got the E-Leader once, but, but overall, she's damn good, so watch out, Squids. Oh! They had another sniper? Another E-Leader! They have two freaking E-Leaders?! <laughs> they had two freaking E-Leaders! Uh, yes, Greenbow, new Splatfest was announced in Coro Coro Magazine. They're sponsoring a new Splatfest for, um, for Sunday, February 3rd. So, yeah, a new Sunday Splatfest. Which I really don't like, because that kind of screws with my Splatfest hosting, because I have to spend the tail end of that Splatfest at work. 
Japanese exclusive? Yeah. Well, if it's sponsored by Koro Koro Magazine, then yeah. And what? And basically, the question is: uh, in comedy duos, who do you like best? The uh, the comic or the stooge? Bas or basically, the funny man or the straight man? And I plan to be on Team Comic. But, but this time, this time I don't know why they're doing it on, I don't why, this time I don't know why they're doing a Sunday Splatfest. Because, um, I looked and there's no holiday that day, in, uh, that Monday in Japan. So, so why they want, um, so why they want an audience of who are mostly kids and teens playing this game, uh, even in Japan, why they want them to splat on a school night, I have absolutely no idea. God, they're all coming in here. Stamp your way to mid. What are you worrying about, hon? Wait, what? Oh, God. Apparently, uh, Dana found a story that has some uh, that has some Christian pastors saying that the Ten Commandments only apply to non-Christians. Ah. Star Cole, I don't think it's going to be enough, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, Star Cole, it's not going to be enough, but. I applaud you for trying. <laughs> uh, wait, what? That's a win? Okay, I'll take the win. And Starkhold, forget what I just said. Anyway, but yeah, a Christian pastor has said that the Ten Commandments only apply to non-Christians. Yeah. You know, so I guess that part in the Bible about um, about about God giving Moses the Ten Commandments to uh, to apply to his own followers kind of escaped them, huh? Well, the th and the thing and the and the thing is and the thing is, the pastor cited the pastor cited the quote unquote old covenant, which. Oh God! What? <laughs> oh God! And now Dana. Yeah. Oh, and now Dana also found another article that said only 7% of Millennials, um, that only 7% of Millennials are pro-choice. Yep, they're trying, yeah, this Christian publication is trying to say that only 7% of Millennials are pro-choice.
Jeez! Sorry, you can't join, but you're watching? Okay, Sarah. Yeah, yeah, they got a really good pooty gun, apparently. And, and, th and that pooty gun's also relentless. That pooty gun did not stop until I was splattered. I want to get out of there. And in here, where I can take over the home base. Ha <laughs> ha. Sorry, you are not ultra stamping me. You're just not gonna ultra stamp me. Ow, ow, pooty gun me! That's a little different. Jeez! We can't keep them out of our home base! They're kicking the shit out of our home base! And those articles are garbo. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But that whole thing about the Ten Commandments only apply to non-Christians. Uh, wait, what? That's funny enough, but I still think yeah. the one about only 7% are pro-choice. Yeah. Pro -choice. They believe it. Yeah. They, they, that, well, that's why they print it. They print it because they believe it. And they think that printing it makes it true. That's pretty much how Trump works. Mm-hmm. Oh, you, oh, you got you got to head out briefly, Dave. All right, that's okay. Oh, oh no, no! Oh God, Dave, I'm sorry. Nah, no. Look what he wrote in chat. <laughs> mm. Yeah. I have, so far in my life, I've gotten very, very lucky in the teeth department. I am 46 years old in my entire life. My entire life, I've only had one cavity in my entire life. And I'm wondering if it's because of all the milk I drank when I was, uh, when I was a teen. Because I drank a lot of milk when I was a teenager. Oh, you, oh, you suck. <laughs> Jeez.
I know he's waiting there. Or maybe he's not. Okay. Ah, yes. My favorite thing to do at Snapper Canal with curling bombs. Curling bomb base blitz. Ah. Damn. Oh, no, they got our home base too? Uh, why? How did we let this happen, team? We've got them in danger. They shouldn't be doing this to our home base. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do... Here we go again! Curling Bomb Blitz in the home... In the enemy home base! Woot! Oh god, they got back into our home base again! Jeez, come on! Ah. Read above what you said. I'm a Christian that should apply to everyone like what? Well, yeah. Well, that's... Well... Well... Well, that's... Well, the thing is, it should be the reverse. It should... It should... If, if you are a Christian, it should apply to you. Yeah. If you are a Christian, it should apply to you. And so, and some and some of those are actually common sense. Don't kill. Don't steal. Don't lie. You know. And and. Extra teeth? No, Adam, I don't have extra teeth. And what about Covet? Our entire economy runs on Covet. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that too. Our, that, that's true. That's what Dana said. Our entire... Our entire... Our, yeah. Our entire economy runs on us coveting stuff. That's the basis... That's the basis of capitalism in and of itself. Capitalism is coveting. Yeah. Ah! Yeah, they... Yeah. Who hasn't lied once in their life? Well, I know. But what I'm, but what I'm saying is, you know, in, in, in general, you know, don't kill, don't steal, don't lie. That's, uh... Yeah, don't kill, don't steal, don't lie. That's, uh, th that's common sense. Um... I, I mean, I mean, most of the other stuff is conditional. I mean, to, well, to non-Christians anyway. Most of the stuff is conditional. I mean... <clears throat> I mean, adultery, well, if you're in a polyamorous relationship, that doesn't really apply. <laughs> Honor your mother and father, well, if your parents are abu if your parents are abusive assholes, that doesn't exactly apply. And, uh, 
and the first and the first three, well, those only apply to Christians and Jew well, Christians and Jews. Those only apply to those only apply to Judeo Christians. Because if you because if you try to apply the first three to people who who aren't who aren't uh, who aren't of the of the religion, then that's then that's basically telling people what to believe, and that's and that's a big no-no. Woo! Oh God! And that's my punishment. I get ten to missiles, and I get slapped by silver. Ah oh, man. Yeah. I can't honor someone who's beat my ass. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I grew up, I I grew up lucky. I grew up in a I grew up in a in a good household where I was where I was supported by my parents. Yeah. Well, actually, um, actually, Sarah, most people in the believe it or not, if, if when when it comes to um, who is what religion in this world, the top religion in the world right now is um, is Islam. Islam has the most followers around the world, <clears throat> with Christianity be with Christianity second, and I think Hindu third. And, and for the most part, Buddhism isn't so much a religion as is a philosophy. There's, there's no deity in, in Buddhism. I mean, there's no deity in, Bo in Buddhism. I, the, the, I mean, the person, generally, the person generally considered to be the Buddha is someone who actually existed. I mean, someone who's known to actually exist. Um, um, Jesus, it's possible he may have existed. If he did, I would I would say if he did, he was a philosopher with a god complex. Ah, who got me? Starkhold. But personally, I'm an atheist. Yeah, personally, I'm atheist. So... I mean, I grew up Catholic, and uh, I, I, I mean, I grew up Catholic. Uh, for all I know, my for all I know, my parents are still Christians. I, if they if they are, they're not exactly they're, they they're not exactly uh, they're not they're not like devout about it. Remember, us atheists were sneaky. We got all day Sunday to plot plans. Oh God. Oh God! Was that a double trade? Seriously, was that a double trade? Ah! Oh God! Greenbow got both of us. Yeah, I figured they were in danger, but not for too long. Ah! Double teamed! By Aku! Ah, 
There's two in our home base! Uh, we have two in their home base too, but I don't think it will be enough. Then again... Yes, Sarah. That, actually, that's true. E everyone is welcome here. I, I don't mind religious people. I only mind when they start... I only mind the ones that start telling me what I should believe. That's when it crosses the line. And most religious people don't cross that line. The vast majority of religious people don't cross that line. The only pro the only problem is the only problem is a lot of the ones that do tend to be the ones who cr who try to grab power. Oh, <clears throat> uh, we got there's squid partiers in this lobby? Where? I see Icy join the lobby. Uh, there's also the fact that a lot of the ones that do try to tell you what to believe are, are also the ones where it comes down to brass tacks. They don't, they don't actually believe it themselves. <clears throat> and the only way, and the only way that they can, uh, that they can convince themselves that they're doing the right thing is by trying to force others to be like them. You know, right now I have... Oh, we do have partiers. I see them. I see the partiers. I see the partiers. We do have a, we do have a squid party. One from each team. Oh. Oh, come on, Starkhold. <clears throat> yeah, but we have one squid party on each team. Is what we have. the home defender <clears throat> who threw who threw that who threw that ink storm right because I know it wasn't me I think it was enough though. Uh, it might be close. Don't! Oh, uh, if it wasn't for that baller going off, we'd have probably won it. <clears throat> You've lived in 42 states and 5 countries. Ouch, Dave. 
I guess squid parties, but if I'm paying 20 bucks a year, peeps should play the game. Frankly, if it's one person from each team squid partying, that effectively makes it a three on three. And I say, and, and I say just leave them alone. But no squid parties during Splatfest. No squid parties during Splatfest. I will be firm about that. In Splatfest, it's all or nothing. The only time, the only time I will say, the only time I will, the only time during Splatfest is when I will say that's enough, that's enough, is if it somehow becomes a four-on-one where, uh, where three people from, where three people from one team uh, disco. In that case, you know, in that case, stop. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not on my Vimo today. Just out of my range. <laughs> oh god, they're all in our home base. They're just like, it's like they're all in our home base. Aku snoozed. I mean, he wasn't doing anything. He was just standing there. He wasn't even squid partying. No, you don't. Ah! Tried to get away, but it was all for naught. Oh god, it's our home base again. Ha. <sighs> I think we got that. Squid party should be PB. Well, it also depends on how many join in, too. Like I said, if it's one person from each team squid partying, that doesn't upset the balance. Oh, who had the disco? Someone had a disco? All right, we've got, right now we have two randos in this lobby. Aku and the noob.
And okay. The randos are war the randos are on different teams. So uh, so if the randos squid party if the randos squid party together, let them. We can do this 3v3. It's not a problem. Shit. I was kind of screwed. Dave, how the hell did you get all the way over there? No, no, what happened was David fell in the water, but he fell in the water like, like a long way away from the edge of the map. Oh, come on. How about let's not get splat and ink up this map like crazy. Icy splashed me down at the last second. All right. Damn. Ah. Uh, yeah, I don't think we got this one, folks. Starkhole's, uh, Starkhole's inkjet kind of doomed us, I think. Or we could just barely win by 1%. <laughs> well, what do I know? I'm not Judd. I'm not Judd. Hashtag not Judd. Inkjet's still OP. Oh, God. Greenbow, switching to my overflosher so Starko can't escape. <laughs> well, let, well, we'll see. We'll see if Starko escapes. Oh, no. Well, that was stupid. I think it's the first time that's ever happened to me on this course.
That's the first time I've ever... The first time I've ever fell, fallen off the map that way, that is. All right. No! No! Oh god, I'm dead. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead! Or am I? Ah, I guess I am. <laughs> Failed base raid. Is that what I think it is? Oh, those are... Alright, those are the randos. Let them party. Mm-hmm. Oh! Traded with Greenbow. Oh god. They're starting to make some inroads. Let's nip this in the butt. Oh. Now, s sorry, dude. If you were shooting at us, you're fair game. If you were shooting at us, you were no longer squid partying. That was base defending Greenbow. <laughs> oh, the partiers are still in the lobby, folks. Again, Inkjet's still OP. I know, right? Well, that is the nature of Inkjet. If Inkjet wasn't OP, it wouldn't be Inkjet now, would it? Oh, oh, I got a stack team. Okay. The partiers are both on the same team this time. Not only, not only is my team uh, half stacked, because I have a Starkhole, David, and Greenbow, but the partiers are both on the same team. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, it looks like those two are not partying this time. And let me tell you, they were, I you know it. Come on. What? Why? I mean, you're 3DS, yeah? Yeah? Oh, jeez. There's someone in our home base! There's someone really making a mess of our home base. And they still are. Or maybe not anymore. I don't know. Ha. Ah. I got their concrete tree at the end. My room is hyper full. Oh no. Oh yeah, they weren't squid partying this time. It looks like they're only doing it if they're on separate teams. Looks like we may have lost one of the partiers, but we got a new rando. We've got Venu 707. Now it's actually Venu, but still. Venu 707. I was probably, I know you're probably trying to say VN, and actually it does kind of work. So I can't really call alphabet abuse on that. Because new is N. The Greek letter new is N. So. Yeah, what the hell are you trying to get with uh, that stingray, huh? There was no one over there until until I got there, and then you got like uh, one tick on me. Oh, come on! Get up there!
waited too long to fire off my uh, my my suck my uh, my curling bombs. Silver, keep me safe. I said, keep me safe. Ah. The comeback. I know, right? What happened? I don't know. We'll see. I I don't know. I know I, I got Greenbow with my curling bomb rush. I know that much. Yeah, Greenbow, yeah, Greenbow got double teamed at mid. I threw out a curling bomb rush and someone was shooting at him. I think even the best overflosh is going to balk at that. <laughs> oh, the other squid party is back. The other squid party is back. The noob. The noob is back. And this time they're both on my team. And it looks like they're and it looks like this time they might be partying. We'll see. Yeah, it looks like Aku and the noob are are on are on each other's friends list. Shit. Me against Starkle and Greenbow? Nah, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. I see the home defender goes down! Semi-successful base raid. Triple!
Ah, I knew we weren't going to win that one, folks. The only problem was I lost track of where Starkle was. Oh, Ronko's in the lobby! You know what that means? Oh, Ronko already put up the Cadgar link. <laughs> what what thing, Greenbow? Okay, Aku and the noob are on separate teams. Basically, don't... If you see them squid parting, don't shoot them, unless they shoot you first. Rushes! Damn it! I not only got double teamed, I got double rush teamed! I got double rushed! What? What happened? Well... Well, yeah, that's not a watertight seal where the straw goes in. Let us have our pit. Let us have our pit. God damn. Huh. We're losing anyway. There. Get out of here, Ronko. Out of here. Ha. Ah. They got into our home base again? Really? But at least we pulled it out of our ass. You're a jack of all trades, master of none. There's someone in your room better at me in every weapon. Yeah, that's 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 possible, but that but you're still damn good with m most of what you use. I 
I like to be a jack too. <laughs> Oh, that's why you don't use Flingza. <laughs> I used to use Flingza. I used to use Flingza until uh, Zen convinced me I do better as a carbon. And I was using carbon until I, re until I realized I do better with an aerospray. All right, I've got Aku, Ronko, and Starkhold. Okay. Oh god, they've got two overflushers! Out of here, Greenbow! Yeah, you're over flushing ass out of here. Is he back already again? No, not him. Someone else. Damn, Dave. Damn. Oh, Dave's pulling the Zordius. Dave's pulling the Zordius. Placed suction bomb. Fear the well placed suction bomb. Oh, damn, Silver. Oh, come on, we can do this. We can do this. Come on. Oh, man, it's going to be close, folks. Yes. A half a percent. <sighs> Tic Tac, thanks so much for the host. And welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Ronco, fear my zinc mini. <laughs> yeah, fear the zinc mini splatling. All right, they shuffled up the teams a bit. 
But with me having Silver and Dave, Silver and Dave, Silver and Dave, with me having Silver and Dave, that might be stacking the team a bit. We'll see. We'll see. I can't believe they tried to... Where am I going? Did not mean to do that. I can't believe they tried to set up a patented squid beacon. In our territory, when Silver was right there. Yeah, that's going to work. Oh god, go, go, overflow. Ah, Starkle. Damn it. Silver, squid beacon on the other side of the tower. Now that matters, they're in our home base. Oh, well, if they're going to put a squid beacon there, I don't mind so much. Ah! No, Greenbow, no! Come on! they get back in our home base? Yeah, they did. Fuck! But we won anyway. Oh, so, oh, who got... Who got that far in our home base? In their home base? Who the hell got that far in their home base? <laughs> I see telling Ronco, Disco bomb the randos! There's only one problem. You see, when Ronco throws her disco bombs, you don't know where they're going to end up. I just go about half a team while waiting to be able to join. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, God. Uh, I think Ronco just threw a disco bomb. We'll see.
Nope. Aku went out into the fray. I didn't get away from Starkhole in time! Uh, talk about disco bombs! Hey, uh, Ronko threw a disco bomb! And it landed straight on their overflosher, which is probably Greenbow. It's like I told you, when Ronko throws her disco bombs, you don't know where they're going to end up. And they still won anyway. Oh, you are my team. Then who's the other overflosher? They still won anyway. What the hell? The noob. And the noob got back in, and so did Icy. But who left? Someone just sat that me. Oh, the... Oh, no, we got another new rando, too. We got VN again. So, who left? We lost... Who? Someone... Oh, oh Dave left. I think David left. Shit! Starkle just got through raiding our base. Okay. How about no? Yeah, when I saw my, when I saw that overflasher disconnect, I'm like, oh, oh, the overflasher disconnected. We're already in the lead. We got this. And then all of a sudden, nope. I don't know what happened, but. Ah! 
Ah, shit! God, can we stop them from getting in our home base, please? And they got into our home base again through this way. God! What the hell? Yeah, we lost the new, but we got the new back. Okay, Dave's back now. That means the only rando we have left is the noob. Ronko needs to throw her shiny disco bomb again on the noob. Because the noob's not doing it. The noob seems to be just sitting there. Or maybe not. Silver got me. The overpowered Octobrush. Made even more overpowered from the power of Kensa. Problem is, as long as I have the noob on my team, we ain't winning. And there's Starkhole again, taking over our base. 
I know it's dark hole because of the damn suction bomb rush. Dermot! Someone from Lone Wolf's Wolf Pack in our lobby. But at least we're but at least we're rid of the noob. No more the noob. The noob is the no more. Nice Inca, if I do say so myself. That's a big nope. That's a big nope. It is defended. Oh, that's one of our beacons. All right, all right. I heard the boop boop. I'm like, uh oh. But no, I. Ah, shit. Ah, uh, I think Rocco's gonna make a move for the home base. Yep, Rocco's making a move for the home base. Come on! You mean we couldn't capitalize on that? Seriously? We couldn't capitalize on that? We had three of them down and we could not capitalize?
Ah, oh, the wolf pack is starting to invade the lobby, folks. Lone Wolf 1600's wolf pack is starting to invade the lobby. Oh, you know Drake Ronco. Cool. But yeah, that, that WP star at the beginning, me, it, it that's basically um that that's basically the tag for um, Lone Wolf 1600 and his Wolf Pack. Oh god. Oh god! Oh my friends are on the other team! It's it's Team Particle without Particle! get icy and someone got into our home base again team team home base again no but no nah, we didn't win that never mind Oh, by the way, the uh, composite of yesterday's stream is now up on Twitch. <laughs> Where I basically edit out the rip stream. <laughs> For all intents and purposes. And it will be up on YouTube um, later, later tonight, so. Lesbian left, I know. 
We got Josh instead. Oh! Looks like you guys get dropped. Look, the teams are largely the same. They just traded out Dave for Josh, for all intents and purposes. So instead of lesbian, I have Dave this time. Of course, in Hollywood news, we lost uh, Carol Channing yesterday. You might know her from the song Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend. But my favorite Carol Channing role is actually, is actually a cartoon voice act. Is actually a, a cartoon voice that she did. She was the voice of she was the voice of Granny in the 1990s Adams Family cartoon. Granny Psychic Hotline. <laughs> and she nailed it as Granny. She nailed it as Granny as much as Rip Taylor nailed Fester. And Rip Taylor made a great Fester in that too. Get me if I'm behind this box, you know. Ha ha! That is a that is a suction bomb rush. I do declare. Almost got I ah tenta missiles got icy instead. All right. Whew! I hope it was enough. Let's see. Oh, they got into our home base at the end! Nah! Oh, we still won. Huh. Huh. You remember that cartoon? I like that Am's Family cartoon. It kind of took place in the movie-verse. Kind of, sort of. And they actually got John Aston for Gomez, the original TV Gomez, which was really cool. Starkhole, when did you get a gold record? Gold record is um gold record is at least three is at least um three months subscribed. That's my sub badges. Um, regular, a regular, a regular record. A, a, a black record is you're a sub. A gold record is you've been a sub for at least three months. A, a platinum record is you've been a sub for at least six months. And something we haven't seen yet, not even on myself because I haven't been an affiliate for a year yet. But you will see it once I, once I am, once I have been an affiliate for a year. Purple record is if you've been subscribed for a year. Now I just need emotes.
And I already know who I want to do my emotes. I'm just waiting for her to open up commissions. <laughs> Damn! Ah, sweet, I'm about to go platinum. Yep. Yeah, it, it all plays on the whole DJ aspect. And you can't see it because the writing's too small, but in the middle of the record it says DJ Particle. And, uh, and, and Zordius uh, shopped those up for me. Damn. Starkle was just out of my range. Just out of my range. But they're getting into our home base too. I gotta nip that in the butt. We didn't win this one, folks. 0.2%! Oh, can we get a Dana emote? Now, I already know what I want for my three emotes, though. And I only, because I'm an affiliate, I only get three emotes. Um, for one for tier one, one for tier two, and one for tier three. Or, well, or I could just assign them all to the same tier, which some people do. But, but I want one... I want one, um, oh, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think, there, I want them all to feature my inkling, one's going to be an angry squid noises emote, except with my inkling, um, one's going to be a, a hype emote for like, for like sub hype, you know, bit hype, sub hype, you know, stuff like that. The third one, I'm not entirely sure. The third one might just might just be my inkling giving a peace sign. We'll see. Or my third one might just be a, might just be an inkling with a peace sign saying. Or actually, my actually, I what I could do is have my hype emote have have my inkling saying "wee." Cheering and saying "win." <laughs> Damn! When am I going to have Starkle on my team again? Starkle is way too powerful with that freaking overpowered dynamo. And it is an overpowered dynamo because it's a freaking Kensa. Splatted by Sprinkler! Oh, come on! Is there a, is there a worse indignation than Splatted by Sprinkler? Oh, come on! I 
that that Kensa is even more overpowered because not only is it a dynamo, it's a dynamo with freaking Booyah Bomb. Ah, uh, at least Dave didn't get Ronco. Come on, Ronco. Ha! <laughs> Ronco, you're our only hope. I know, Stark, Stark Hole with that dynamo makes the rest of us hurting units. You also have three main power up. Oh, God. As if you having the dynamo and with a, a Kensa dynamo, no less, wasn't bad enough, you have main power up times three. Oh, my God. All right, they've got they've got a Nautilus Splatling though, so uh, all right. This time I have Starkhole and her amazing Dynamo Roller, her amazing overpowered Kensa Dynamo, the amazing why the fuck does it exist in this game Dynamo. <laughs> Oh god, someone got Starkhole! on roller. <laughs> yeah, Drake, you weren't getting away with that. Not with two of us on ya. Brawly only works in one direction, Drake. And I don't mean the band.
damn. That's the problem with the umbrella. The umbrella. Oh no, it's a three quarter white! No! No! Can we not lose in the last ten seconds, please? Ah, we almost did. We almost did lose in the last 10 seconds. Oh my God. Claws in the lobby. <laughs> Hashtag ban dynamo roller. Yeah. <laughs> you ran to someone on turf using the Grizzco umbrella? When was that? When was that, Dave? All over our home base. Uh, Starkhole, we need your dynamo roller over here. Our base is being intensely uh, hit. No, Starkhole. Oh god, uh, they're going for our home base again! Oh, we got them in danger! We got them in danger. We got them in danger. Shit. I should have dropped myself in the water at the end. <laughs> but that's alright. We got it.
probably about noon today. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if they're using shit like that, yeah, they need to be reported. I got time for one more, folks. Time for one more, and then we're going to go in a raid. So stick around for the raid, because I will be raiding someone else who's playing Splatoon. Sir Stupid, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome to the Particle Acceleration. How you doing? Shot Drake. Ah, aim pop. Stop aiming that wrong. There! Ah! Oh, God! Well... They have a disco! Rock will fire off one of her disco bombs! But they're still winning, just letting you know out there. Shit! in our home base again. Well, sort of, kind of. Phew! I hope it was enough. Even with their, even with their disco, they were tough, tough. Oh, yeah, CPG was the disco there. And that's going to be it for today. We're going to go on a raid, folks, so stick around for that. And we will be raiding someone else playing who is playing Splatoon 2, by the way. Um, someone who I uh, tried to join up with at the beginning of the stream, but her room was full. So, uh... All right, and let me just tell you about uh, what's going on later this week. Tomorrow, it's Super Smash Wednesday, so get your uh, get your Smash Chops ready. Uh, Friday, we'll be doing some Rocket League car soccer. Yeah, Starkle, that's who I'm going to be raiding. 
We're gonna do some car soccer, and if you are, and if you are, uh, if you have Rocket League on any console, you can join me because we're gonna do private battles, and that's pretty much the only way you can uh, do uh, multi console right now. Uh, friend match multi console is coming, so yeah. And of course, Saturday we're getting back into the Jackbox. We're gonna open up that Jackbox. And that'll probably be our last Jackbox stream for a few weeks because of um, the upcoming Splatfest. So, uh, so yeah, let's um, let me do let me do a shout out right now. I'm gonna shout out to Ronko Hoshino and her easy stream. She was playing Splatoon 2 with us. You saw her in our lobby with the Splatling there. Uh, follow her there, and if you uh, pop her a follow and watch her stream, you'll know she streams at 240p. And you might say, oh, it's all blurry. But you know what? If you view on your mobile device, on your mobile plan, it won't use up all your data. We had hosts today from Silver Ronco Tic Tac. Thank you so much for those. And, of course, our new follower, Sir Stupid 007 Welcome to the Particle Acceleration. I hope. I really hope you enjoy your stay. We play a lot of Splatoon here, but we're starting to branch out into some other stuff. All right. And yes, Starkhole was correct because we are going to raid Zypop, the overflashing goddess. So until tomorrow in Super Smash Wednesday, you know what to do. Follow and subscribe. Join the Particle Acceleration. You can also join us on Discord. That's exclamation mark Discord in the chat. Or you can uh, sc just scroll to where it says join the Particle Acceleration on Discord. So uh, until tomorrow and Super Smash Wednesday, I'm DJ Particle. I'm out of here. Peace.